Hello everyone, my name is Veer and today we are going to see how we can use Azure board services in order to track your software project work. Okay, so basically Azure boards or uh, only boards uh, allows you to create, you know, different work item types uh, to trace your work, to plan your each and every activity, to plan your sprint and iteration and to have your backlog ready so apart from these you know these are the basic high level you know features that azure boards provides apart from this you can have uh, different dashboards created on azure boards or reports created on azure boards so you know these are the basic high level features that azure boards provide okay so without wasting time we'll just flip to azure boards and let's see how we can create different work item types so in the first demonstration what we are going to see is uh, we are going to create features we are going to create user stories uh, we are going to create uh, task under a particular user story and we are going to add some acceptance criteria to a user story okay so quickly i will flip to my Azure instance and uh, let's see how we can perform these activities okay so for ready reference what I have done I have just logged into one of my Azure account and I have uh, different projects created over here so I'll just move to one of the project okay and from there we can see how we can create a different work items type. so once you click on that particular project you will be landed on this particular a summary page okay and here you can find an option for board so so clicking on that will raise down you know a basic page where different tasks or work items will be displayed to you okay so uh, in order to create a new work item there are different or a couple of options available in order to create a work item okay so if you can see uh, there is one plus icon if you click on this you will be given up with the different options to create a different work item type okay so first of all we will see how we can create a feature then we will see how we can create a user story okay so in order to create a feature what you have to do is you have to click on this plus icon then navigate to feature and click on it okay so uh, after this it will give you a, you know uh, UI where you have to enter the feature if you wanted to add a description to it you can add if you wanted to you know uh, assign it to a particular user you can assign it okay if you wanted to add a tag you can add a tag okay so what I'll do I'll just add one of the feature of I'll just pick one okay so this is say, say for example you wanted to create a user login feature okay so I have added a feature name as a user login and you have to click on save okay so once you click save you will be you know that feature will be get created and you can find out that feature will be listed over here okay if you can see uh, view options over here uh, you can hide the work items types which are completed or uh, completed okay so basically if, if, if you wanted to hide the completed work items you can hide it from here okay here is an you know filter option available for you show filters hide filters that means if you can if you wanted to filter you can filter it from here itself based on criteria these criteria okay now uh, what we will do now we have created a feature let's see how we can create a user story so for ready reference what i have done i have picked out few users user stories uh, that i wanted to you know demonstrate or to add so i'll pick up one of them and we'll see how we can use it to create a user story so again the same step you have to click on this plus icon another option is you can you can click on this plus and from there you can click on new work item and then you can click on user story so from here also you can create a user story okay so the user story title reads as uh, as a first time visitor to a website i wanted to be able to register on a website so that I can browse and buy 
listed products from the website okay this this is one of the user story okay so if you wanted to add a description like what what will be the you know feature is about so you can give a basic information into the description okay description tab or a description text box provided okay and another section it provides is for acceptance criteria you know where you will write what what are the different criteria that needs to be considered in order to complete this particular user story okay so you can add that over here also you can add a story point for this particular user story okay uh, but on this uh, text control okay for example i'll add it as a three this is a three pointer user story and for acceptance criteria i'll just pick up i have listed few of the acceptance criteria i'll just copy this and i'll paste over here okay so if you can see the acceptance criteria says that user need to provide a username first and last name with no more than 256 with no more than 256 symbols user need to provide phone number format uh, user need to you know have a minimum capital minimum one capital letter one small letter so so you know these are the different you know acceptance criteria that could be part of your registration page of a website okay and you have to just click on save okay so that's it uh, this this way you can create a user story and if you can see over here a user story is listed uh, along with your features as well so what i'll do uh, i'll uh, i'll quickly you know add all the user stories one by one and then we will see uh, how we can you know link a uh, task to a user stories okay if you can see now uh, you know i had created few of the user stories and few of the features that are listed under work items okay so if if you can you, if you wanted to filter out your uh task you can filter out from here as well okay if you if you can click or say so, so suppose you wanted to click a filter by type say if you wanted to see only the feature so if you click on feature you will it will list down only the features okay if you click on user stories it will list down all the user stories okay so uh, Uh, this is for you know creating user stories and features now let's see how we can create a task under particular user story okay so i'll what i'll do i'll just open one of the user story where we have added acceptance criteria and here you can find an option to have a related work okay so if you wanted to you know create a link for this particular work item you can just click on add link and here it will give you an option link it to existing work item or to create a new work item i just wanted to you know create few work items under a user story so i'll click on new item okay and it will be child of this particular user story and let's say the first task that i wanted to do or any developer wanted to do is to you know analyze the user story or say analysis okay and i'll just click on save okay next task that i wanted to add over here is to design and development say design and development and click on save okay the next task i wanted to add is to you know say writing unit test cases and click on save then i'll next task sorry next task that i wanted to add is say code review okay and 
Okay, so so you can create a you know different task for a particular user story like this. Okay, and you can assign it to different stakeholders as well, or different users. Even you can add a testing task as part of this. That means if you wanted to write a test cases, you can add a task over here. Okay. So that's it for this video guys in the next video we are going to see how we can you know uh, how the backlogs looks when you add the stories and we are going to go for the planning sprints it or iteration how we can perform those activities that's it uh, guys thank you thanks for watching